I am so happy to introduce my first guest. John McEwen played and sang with the legendary Nitty Gritty Dirt Band for over 50 years, creating hits like Mr. Bojangles, Dance Little Jean, The Album Will the Circle Be Unbroken, and so many more. Well, John is here in Western New York with his new band, a bunch of great guys known as the String Wizards, all right? We're calling them that for today, for a show at the Fredonia Opera House on Friday night. So good morning, John. Nice to have you here. Thank you. Like I said to my mom, thanks for having me. Aww. Our pleasure. It has been it has been a long time for you in this business, and you're still making music, you're still making new music, and you can say, yeah, we had a hit like 50 years ago, and it's oh still Oh my gosh, current. that sounds terrible. I know, <laughs> but it's still current. When you turn on the radio, we're still playing that song, and we're still loving it. When I found out Bojangles was put in the Grammy Hall of Fame, it was like, wow, how cool. What makes it eligible? They said, well, it has to have been out 40, 40 years at least. Wow. Uh, 40 years? I thought it was like 10. Wow. You know? But you know what? We're all still around, luckily. Yes. You know, most of us anyway, enjoying it. And maybe you had so many albums after that, but let's go back to that one. And let's talk about how Bojangles came to be. Well, we were working up in our fifth album called Uncle Charlie trying to get a top 10 hit or find music and good. Some of the songs were by a, a young writer that it had never been recorded. And it, Kenny Loggins later became known. Gee, yeah, who is that? <laughs> you know, mm. And he was just, hey, I got some songs, you guys. You want to hear some songs? Said, really, I got some good songs. I think you should record them. So I made a demo of him in my Laurel Canyon apartment, and we did four of his songs. One of them was House at Pooh Corner. Oh, wow. And when I told him we were putting it out, he's excited. And then Disney called and said, you can't put that out. We own it. I told Kenny he was really depressed because it was his first recording to come out. And his girlfriend said, maybe I can help. And how's that possible? Well, her father was the CEO of, of Disney. Oh. <laughs> so the next day, the record company called and said, oh, you can put it out. And it was a top 20 hit. Amazing. Bojangles was after that. Yes. And uh, that was... The story behind that, I love to tell on stage because it's hard to understand until you'll hear the whole story, which we don't have time for here <laughs> yeah, now, <you> know. <laughs> about how a certain Catholic girls school in Manhattan was, is what made that get to the top 10. Really? Yeah. How did that happen? Well, it was in the top 20, but not going to get played on ABC in New York. And the daughter of the guy who... <laughs> programmed ABC, uh -huh. which everybody watched. Oh, if yeah. ABC wasn't playing it, uh, 15 right. other stations Cousin Brucey, would. If it wasn't on Cousin Brucey's show, it wasn't happening. It, it, anyway, his daughter went to that school. And it, I, I hate to give it away. Well, maybe some people can know. And I asked the sister, who else has played your lunchtime program for this junior high school oh, crowd? Oh, my goodness. And she said, oh, we've had the Jackson 5, Aretha Franklin, uh, oh, Mr. Paul Simon, and John Lennon. What a nice boy. We played the show, and the next Monday, ABC started playing the record. Autumn. Awesome. Anyway. Uh, I'm telling you. And you know what? These are the kind of stories you're going to get at the uh, Fredonia Opera House, because that's where you guys are all going to be. And it's a multimedia show. Mm -hmm. we use, I use footage that I've collected from over so many years, starting with the footage, 8 millimeter stuff my mother shot at the first record wow. release party. We were playing a parking lot. And the guys I bring with me, uh, Matt Cartsonis used to play with Warren Zevon, and John Cable used to be in the Nitty Gritty Dirt Band in the mm -hmm. 70s when we were the first American band to go to Russia. 28 Amazing. sold out shows. Wow. And then Les Thompson on bass is a guy that, well, we started the band together in 66 along Amazing. with a couple other guys. And uh, it's, it's just been incredible. John, tell me about this instrument because I'm not sure if it's a guitar or a banjo. It's called a guitar. It is a guitar. <laughs> okay. It's, it's beautiful. It's made in South Africa. <laughs> And it really, uh, it's really, it's fun to play. <laughs> it's gorgeous. It's beautiful. Will you be playing that Friday night as well? Oh yeah, and uh, playing a lot of the a lot of the music we do is some of the early eclectic dirt band songs and some of the known hits. Mm -hmm. But it's also music from Circle yeah. Be Unbroken. Want to remind people, will the circle be unbroken? And John, of course, has new music, roots music made in Brooklyn. Got to tell you about this. Who was on this album? Well, Martha Redbone, Steve Martin, John Carter Cash. Uh, Kevin Twig, David Bromberg, and just a few names that you might recognize. But listen, you're going to want to go to the show, and I would remind everybody to definitely go ahead and get your tickets if you don't have them now, because it's going to be a fabulous night. It's going to bring you back, and it's going to keep you current at the same time. John McEwen is with us. John, can you play us to break this morning?
come on to the show. You see the band? We're going to play it hot. <laughs>